A two-point street scene typically starts with your vanishing point A, which I have way over here on the right-hand side. There's A, and then here's B. All right, let's now work on a new layer here. Whoops, I don't want to darken. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come over here. All right, so let me work with these two vanishing points then. Okay, so we're working with the idea that we're going to be creating a corner all right and we typically start with buildings right so let's say we're drawing a building and we're gonna put this building I'm gonna create a vertical right through here okay so here's the vertical of our brand new building we know that we take the verticals and we go back to our vanishing points on both sides the top and the bottom go back to the vanishing point Okay, both sides. And we're going to take it down to the other side next. And sorry, I touched my screen a little bit, so it's freaking out. All right. Now, I'm going to stop this building with some verticals because we want to tell it where it's going to go or how short or long it's going to be. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now I'm gonna kinda of take my eraser and we can erase anything that kind of trails along behind just a little bit. All right, so come back to here. Let me do a little bit of touch up there so we can see the corners cleanly. All right, now this represents kind of the corner of the building and we understand that we're gonna have an area to walk out in front of um, and we probably want, you know, a sidewalk and all that stuff. I've got videos about how to add those on. But at this point, we wanna kind of determine where the break in the street would actually happen. So I'm gonna say over here on the right-hand side, the A side of the street, we can call it A Street, we're gonna break a little bit and we're gonna keep going back to the vanishing point there. And I'm gonna start a new building here. Okay, I'm gonna send the bottom of this guy back to B side. Looky there, and I ran into my building, my A side of my building, because this is an A side of a building. This is now gonna be an A side of a building. Okay, it might even go off the top of the the page, and that's okay if it goes off the top of your page a little bit. Um, kind of gives a little bit of height and depth to it. And I'm gonna send this part down to the B side. So there we go, I can get rid of my little diblet right there. All right, so we have created sort of this break uh, in the world, right? Um, I could do that over here too in a very small way if I wanted a bigger separation. I could stop once I've pulled out from my vanishing point. I've created that, and now I'm going back to the A side. Looky there, and I'm creating a whole nother zone back there on this side. Okay, and this then goes back down to the B. This gets really tight and squishy, unless you've got something where you've added paper onto your uh, paper uh, and you've extended and taken your vanishing points off your page somewhere all right but looky there now we got a bigger street area um, coming off there so we start to have openings for streets creating basically more city blocks or the illusion of city blocks that you can drive on